All right, folks, we're gonna be doing some fun fishing with the Shanghai Shaoju glass rod today. We're gonna figure out a few things. We'll be testing out how well this rod flex, right? Casting. Also, uh, we'll see what type of casting it works with. Some flip cast, some spiral cast, some flick cast, right? And then we're gonna be fishing it. And we'll see how this rod bends, see how sensitive it is. And uh, one of the biggest thing for me and perhaps a lot of folks is potentially with a flexi rod, how much sensitivity do you lose, right? Now, if you're constantly reeling a lure in, well, you would definitely feel something. But if I were to yo-yo a lure, let it fall on slack line, am I gonna pick up those bites? I don't know. I really don't know. But we shall find out very, very soon. I have the Aldebaran BFS 2016 with the Roro spool on. I have 0.6 gold and four pound sunline, okay, monofilament. And right now, the first lure I have here is a 1 15th ounce, the mushroom jig from Z-Man and the shad fries. So this thing, not too heavy, but it should be very, very fun to throw and potentially catch some crappies and make the rod bend and see how well it bends, right? So let's get to it. All right, folks, let's do some casting. Woo. So yeah, this rod is interesting. And I have to say this short handle right here is not that great for, um, what do you call that? Uh, my kayak rod holders and um, yeah it's really sketchy right now if I knock it over just a little bit it'll fall over and uh, I'll lose my entire setup so this is probably the only time you'll see Jimbo use this rod on the kayak for now because like I said it's a uh, I don't want to lose it <laughs> let's say I don't want to lose it but so far casting this guy this small little jig 115 ounce jig head and then the shad fries it's not too bad. I would say this is around, uh, I gotta weigh it, but I think it's like maybe 2.5, 2.7 uh, grams. I don't know. Don't know, but uh, rod do load up. So if I were to throw something like this for trout, it's not too bad. And I do intend to uh, throw it perhaps a little heavier, like an eighth ounce, some of those hard plastics. That, my friends, is what I'm gonna be using this for in a stream situation. Jig's still okay, cause you know, it's open jig, open hook, right? So uh, hooking up some fish should not be a problem. But yeah, it's not gonna be a rod for any of those weedless type uh, rigs because it won't have enough hook set power. Now I'm standing up right now, so uh, I don't get picked up by wind, but look at this. Not too bad when I'm doing a spiral cast, All right? It loads up pretty well. Might be a little light for this guy. Yeah, it's, and the wind is uh, crazy right now. It's just blowing on to me. Hopefully the sound is not too bad. Flip, flip cast, not too bad either. I think if I were to use some heavier lures, right? I'd get a little further, but uh, so far accuracy for the flip cast is not too bad. Um, that's a little too high. The timing is off on Jimbo then. <laughs> but yeah, the, right there. Not too bad. Uh, let's do a little bit of spiral cast again. Oh, too high. Yeah, not used to uh, doing it on a kayak. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm hitting that uh, the ram mount right there. And um, well, get tangled up and everything. Yeah, not too bad. I think uh, this rod right here have enough flex bend as you see to do any sort of flick cast you guys want. Distance wise for this lure is actually um, not too bad. Not too bad at all. I do have the brakes on pretty high because the wind and everything and I'm doing all these casts. I could probably lower it to um, four and probably cast a good distance, right? Yeah, good, good distance. But I'm gonna leave it up just a little bit, four and a half, just to uh, ensure I don't backlash on my expensive braid. Various four, by the way, 0.6 go. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Let's go find some fish, see if we can hook some up and uh, bend this rod. All right, that tree right there always have fish, so let's cast it. Oh, like I said, always have fish. Got it right in there. Got a nice fish out of it. Oh yeah, yeah. That rod is bending good. So, um, 
my concern about some of these uh, rods, right, is that it may not hook them, but I hooked them. Also felt the thump, so that's a good thing. And also the rod bent pretty well, man. So let's try a few more times. And hopefully, um, you know, we'll catch a lot of fish. See how it feels, because you know, this is a, just one. One bite doesn't really prove everything, right? I need to get like a thousand bites. No, not a thousand, but a hundred, maybe a couple dozen. See how that goes. And uh, I can report back how I feel about the action of this rod tip. I'm getting used to the casting of this rod already, the flicking and everything like that. Yeah, let it load up properly, you know. Oh, 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 come on. I got like a few hits right there. Tap, 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 but no hookup. What? Something to the left. Wanna see something that pop like that? You gotta throw it right in there. Yeah, distance is nice right here, now that I'm out of the wind. Oh, fish! What? Look at that bend. So yeah, I do feel the bite. That's great. That is great. Woo-wee! I got a nice black crappy right here. Look at that. All right, get bigger. Let's go. Oh, got another one. Yeah, I'm feeling the bites here. So you guys will be happy to hear that this rod is still sensitive. You can feel them. And as you see, the rod is bending so well. Fighting these uh, crappies is so much more fun. <laughs> now, now, now uh, I kind of want a longer butt end uh, glass rod for this type of fishing. It's kind of fun. Maybe I'll get a, a longer one, right? So it cast a little further and also, um, I load up some lures, cast it out. It'll be very nice. Fish. Yeah, I'm marking these fish right now. And I'm just casting right to it. Woo! This guy right here. Yeah, as you see, it's, uh, it's handling me. <laughs> getting a little bit bigger, getting a little bit bigger. But as I mentioned earlier, the rod holder, man, is a little sketchy. All right, let me put this fish back for a second and I'll show you. As you see, I move it, it moves very easily because the rod butt is very short and as I lift up, you know, it could just fall right off. So uh, yeah, definitely have to be very, very careful with this on a kayak, but I expect, uh, this to be not an issue for me because this is the only time I'll bring it on the kayak, like I said, just to uh, fish, uh, to see how it bends and everything because everyone asks how sensitive this is. And uh, for those who don't know, right, when you fish for crappies, right, when you lift and drop, you got a few that nick. And that's what I'm really doing right now. I kind of pop it up, reeling very slow. And I felt the bite for all those uh, casts so far. But when you're fishing in a stream, when you catch, uh, cast these lures out there, right? And if the lure is pulling with the current, you definitely see your rod tip and feel everything. But when you cast upstream and you're just collecting line, you know, that's, that's gonna be the difficult part. And in fact, that's actually difficult for any sort of rods. Doesn't matter what it is. But yeah, for here, right? So far, I am feeling the bites and I am, I'm liking this. And uh, I think uh, if this thing had maybe like two or three more guides, onto it, it will make a lot of people even more happy. But uh, so far, I have no complaints. I can't wait to take this out for some trout fishing. Bam, felt that tap for sure. This guy is in shock. He's like, what happened? <laughs> Off you go. But yeah, there's, there's some uh, good amount of fish just stacked up here by this wall. Um, I see it, right? Windblown side right there. Woo, they're loving it. Oh, that's another bite right there. I, I didn't feel that one this time, but I kind of, uh, when I lifted, I felt some pressure. Not as sensitive as a graphite as expected, but you know, majority of the time, well, that's a bite right there. I felt that one. That's a bite right there and I hook set. There we go. Wow, a big mondo. 
Big Mondo White Crappy. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Chill, 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 chill. Look at that. I think this is uh, worthy for a thumbnail. Yeah, I definitely want to do a thumbnail here. Crappy with a glass rod. All right. Thank you for the fight. Get back out in there and uh, go lay some eggs soon. All right. So digging up these crappies right in deep water. Probably work better with a graphite rod. It's like a few of those nips just like that. Look at that. <laughs> this is it. But yeah, I am feeling the bites. I, watching my rod tip pop as well. So you guys will be happy with this rod if you guys are uh, concerned about sensitivity. All right, off it goes. All right, the next lure I want to throw, it's something I got from AliExpress, right? This is the LTH Tug. And this is a minnow bait. And um, it already come with assist hooks, single hooks, which is really cool. Flat side, let me just show it to you. Cause uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna be into this type of fishing for trout. And this is already uh, set up in a way that I want it. Look at that, you have a flat minnow head, beautiful tied assist hook, and the lines are orange so that it's uh, it, it pops, right? You got a split ring on there lift and everything it should be a sinker so let me just uh rig this up and throw it on the water on the side and see how that looks like but man oh man this uh jig done me really well a second ago so here we are let's put it on the side for a second oh yeah it has a shimmy to it while it's falling let's see if uh this casts well for a second Oh yeah, this this definitely casts well. Does it say how heavy this thing is? I don't think it says it on the box, but I think it's like a one eighth ounce. You know, 3.5 grams. Yeah, it doesn't say here, so I guess I had a weigh at home, but uh, I bought it a while ago, so um, <laughs> yeah. And if I were to retrieve this, I do feel a little wobble to it. Let me just reel up and see how it goes. And uh, yeah, it has a very, very nice wobble to it when you're swimming it, you twitch it like a jerk bait, right? This is definitely calls for action. And let me just throw it right back in the water again. Yeah, it's a, it sinks about a, probably a foot, a second maybe. No, maybe like a, maybe like a, a little bit more than half a foot a second. So it's perfect for stream fishing and potentially with these suspended crappies out there, I should be able to uh, coax some of them to bite. So let's find those crappies and uh, give it a shot. Oh. Crap, see all the stuff right there? Time to try it out. <laughs> Might get uh, bit off by some pickerels though. Has a lot of vibration. Yeah, this rod right there, when I uh, pull this in real very fast or you know, do a, a long pull, I could definitely, definitely see and feel the rod tip. So definitely more sensitive than my <laughs> noodle Bass Pro Shops um, a rod. So yeah, I think you guys will enjoy this rod. Let's uh, get some fish on this and uh, see how it goes, because I am excited. Fish, here we go. Crappies with single hooks, baby. Look at that. Do you want to pop off or do I need to lift you? Yeah, I'll lift you up. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful freaking lure. Beautiful freaking fish. Let's go, let's go. Fish, another one. Oh man, these fish loving this freaking jerk bait. Oh, can't say jerk bait. It's a, a minnow. Okay. Wow, this battle is fun. So fun. Here we go. Look at that, man. Shimmy style, and uh, man, this guy got hooked right in his jaw. 
All right, he should be okay. Off he goes. Fish. Whoa. Whoa. Got a nice bass. Surprising. Do I have to drag on properly? Yeah, I think I had to drag on too hard earlier. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. Yes. Woo. Look at that beautiful bass on a minnow. Come on. Let me just unhook him. Sweet, man. So sweet. Let's go. All right, folks. The Xiaoju. Shanghai Xiaoju. Woo. What a fun rod. Now, as I mentioned during the video, it's sketchy to bring that rod right on a kayak, especially with those kayak rod holders. You knock it over just a little bit. Woo. You have expensive reel on that, just like the Aldi Baron I have on? Say bye-bye. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever take that rod again on a kayak, but potentially I may look for something similar with a longer butt and uh, have a lot of fun. But that rod right there, definitely sensitive enough to feel those bites. I threw a few different lures today and I think it's gonna fit all my trout fishing needs in the streams, you know, throwing uh, some small jigs and plastic, uh, throwing some uh, minnows. But one thing I didn't throw today is a spoon. And uh, spoon will be perfect too, because spoons, you know, they can flick very easily because they're small, dense, and heavy, right? You can do all these nice bends with your rod and whoop, flip it out there and uh, go catch some trout. So yeah, I'm very excited for this spring. Are you guys? Anyway, if you guys have any questions about this rod, feel free to leave me a comment below, but for this price, I think it's pretty good. Anyway, um, I'm going to let you guys go. I thank you guys for watching. The fish don't wait. Stay tuned for some trout fishing with the new glass rod that I got, all right? Peace out.